EBS 파이널 영어 영역 3회 1번부터 17번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제입니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, viewers. Thank you for visiting the Department of Motor Vehicles video channel. Using our services has never been easier, as we've been modernizing the way we provide them. Now we're opening online services, so you can do many things from any computer that you used to have to visit a field office to do. For example, you can register for your driver's license at home in just minutes. You can also report a traffic accident online. We look forward to more conveniently meeting your needs with our new online services. Visit our website at www.dmvofthefuture.gov to see what we offer. Thank you. 2번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Christine, what are you doing on your laptop? Hi, Liam. I'm updating my resume because I'm going to apply for a marketing position at an insurance company. Can you take a look at it? Sure. Whoa, your resume is pretty long. I know, but I have a lot of various work experience. Not just in marketing. I tried to include all of it. I understand, but not all of it is relevant to the job you're applying for. That's true, but it shows that I know how to do a lot of things. Sure, but hiring managers don't spend a lot of time reading each resume, including a lot of minor things unrelated to the job posting in your resume just distracts them from the key information. I see. You're right. They need to be able to quickly and easily know if I'm the right person for that position. Right. That's why you should include only work and education experience, skills, and other achievements that are relevant to the job posting. Got it. I'll revise my resume. Thanks. 3번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Monica, come in. Good morning, Mr. Newton. Do you have a minute? I'd like to talk with you about something. Sure, have a seat. What is it? Actually, I have an allergy to pollen, which makes it difficult for me to breathe sometimes. I'm aware of that. The school nurse informed me of it at the beginning of the semester, but I haven't noticed it bothering you. Right, but it's gotten worse the past few days. I get very short of breath, especially when I run. Oh, I see. Then from now on, you don't have to do the running warm-up at the beginning of my class. Thanks. I'll participate in other activities, though. Okay. During next class, we will be practicing free throws. You should be okay doing that. And just so you know, running won't be in the performance assessment tests this semester. Oh, good. And thanks for your understanding. Anytime. And please let the school nurse know about how you've been feeling recently. I will. Thanks. 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Mom, I finished decorating the backyard for our barbecue dinner tonight. Really? Let me go out and see. Wow, it's amazing. I love the string lights between the two trees. It'll look nice when the sun goes down. Yeah. And you put three chairs under the string lights. One for me, one for you, and one for Dad. 
And do you notice the cushion on the chair? Oh, the polka dot cushion Grandma made for you. Yeah, I'll let her know that we used it. And I set up the round table. Is that okay? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, on the table, there's a flag with a heart on it. Where did you get it? I bought it at the store a couple days ago. Great job, honey. I can't wait for dinner tonight. Oban. Tehari did go. Namjaga halilo. Kajang chokjaran gosil kurushio. Honey, I'm so excited about our trip tomorrow. Me too. It'll be a fun trip. Let's double check we've done everything just to be safe. All right. Well, I checked the hotel reservation this morning. It's good. Great. And we've got our tickets for the circus at the hotel, right? Yes. I reserved them online and got a confirmation email, too. Do you think we should print out the confirmation email? You know, just in case? Good idea. I'll do that tonight. What time should we leave tomorrow? It's a three hour drive there, so I'm thinking we should leave at 7 a.m. I've already made some sandwiches we can eat during the ride. Ah, that reminds me. There's not much gas in the car. I think we should fill it up. I'll go out and do that right now. Will you? That'll be great. Thanks. No problem. Yukbon. Tehari did go. Yajaga chiburai kumegil kurushio. Welcome to Living Space Furniture. How may I help you today? Hi. I'd like to buy a sofa and ottoman. How much are these beige ones? The sofa is $400 and the ottoman is $100. I love the color, but I don't really like fabric. Do you have leather ones in beige? Sure, right over there. Here they are. They're a total of $200 more than the fabric ones. Hmm. That's a bit more than I was hoping to spend, but I love these leather ones. I'll take them. All right. Would you like to add our five year protection plan? It's only an extra $60. It covers stains plus any damage from normal use. That's a great deal. I'll add the plan too. How much is shipping? It's free, but we also offer full service delivery. That includes assembling the furniture and removing all the boxes and trash for $90. It's a good deal, but I don't need it. Okay. Your sofa and ottoman will be delivered in three days. And for making your purchase today, you'll receive a $20 coupon to use on your next purchase. Terrific. I'll pay with my credit card. 7번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 테니스 연습에 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hi James, what's up? Are you back from your family trip to Seattle? Yes, we came back yesterday. Hope you had a good trip. You're coming to tennis practice today, right? No, I can't. That's why I called. Oh, are you busy with your work? No, my new project starts tomorrow. It's not because of the work. Oh, are you feeling tired? You had a long drive home yesterday. No, I feel okay. Actually, I need to volunteer at my son's school. I see. What will you be doing? I'll be selling snacks at the boys' basketball game. The parents scheduled to volunteer today suddenly couldn't make it. So I said I could go. I'm sorry I can't make it to today's practice. It's completely fine. See you next week. 
8번 대화를 듣고 과일 조각 워크숍에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Wilma, check out this flyer. There's a fruit carving workshop this weekend. That sounds interesting. Where's it at? It's at the Green City Community Center. It's not far from my house. I know. The workshop is from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. this Saturday. Would you like to go? Sure. Do we have to bring anything? Yeah. It says they provide the fruit and fruit carving tools, but participants should bring an apron. Okay. How much is the workshop? It's $25 per person. Let's register for it now. Sounds good. 9번 파크볼링 펀드레이징 이벤트에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, Park City residents. Are you looking for a chance to have fun while helping out the community? Then join us for this year's Park Bowling Fundraising event for bowling, food, and fun. It'll be held on August 6th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Park Lane Bowling Alley. Tickets are $25 for advanced registration and $30 at the door. Tickets include two hours of bowling, shoe rental, and food. Also, event t-shirts will be on sale at a special price for the participants. All proceeds will go to the Park City Children's Hospital to help young patients. For more information, please visit our website, www.parklanebowling.com. Don't miss this fun opportunity to help out local children. 10번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 구입할 커피 테이블을 고르시오. Honey, we need to get a coffee table for the living room. Right. Actually, I know of a great website with good prices on furniture. Let me go there and check out their coffee tables. Okay. They've got these five models. Hmm, what material should we get? Well, anything except fabric. That'd be really hard to keep clean. Good point. Oh, this one looks too small, doesn't it? Yes. Considering the living room size, we should get a table wider than 15 inches. So, how much do you think we should spend on the table? I say we keep it under $150. All right. Then that eliminates this one. So, we're down to these two options. How about getting this rectangular one rather than this square one? Sounds good. It'll look great in our living room. All right. Then let's buy this one. 11번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Sam, you are looking at your phone so intently. What are you doing? Hi, Bella. I'm trying to buy some gardening tools, but I've never done gardening before, so I don't know what to buy. There are too many choices. I think you should try some basic tools before getting your own. I can lend you mine. 12번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Diane, how was your weekend? It was awesome. I went to the Urban Artist Market. There were a bunch of local artists selling their art at reasonable prices. There were a lot of nice paintings and pottery. Cool. Did you get anything? 13번 대화를 듣고 
여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Scott, you said you needed to talk to me about something. Is it about our new project? No, it's something personal. The thing is, my daughter Kathy failed her science test again. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. She must be disappointed. Yes, she is. But what I'm more worried about is her interest in science. She used to love it, but for some reason she lost interest in it. The same thing happened to my son Daniel, but now he's really into science. You told me that, so I wanted to ask you how that happened. It was a summer camp he went to a couple years ago. He did some experiments with other kids at the camp, and he got his interest back. Here, I'll show you the camp's website. Here, take a look. Wow, the curriculum looks so great. Yeah, I strongly recommend this camp. Oh, it says registration begins this Friday, and I can register on the website. Great. Right. I'll text you the link to their website now. Hi, Nicole. What's up? Hi, Matt. Our drama club meeting is today, right? Right. It's at 12.30 p.m. in the library. All the members will be there. That's what I thought. I'm afraid I can't make it. I have an appointment with the school counselor today. Oh, really? What time does it start? At 12.30, right when the meeting starts. But we need you today. We're changing the storyline of our play, and you're the lead writer. You're right. Can we postpone the meeting until next week? That'll be too late because we also need time to rehearse. We need to change the storyline this week. I know what you mean. But I'm sure my meeting with the counselor will last until after lunch, like around 1.30. Is it possible for us to meet after school? Hmm. There are no after-school classes today, so I think that's possible. 15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 클레어가 마크에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Claire has a teenage son named Mark. One day, Mark comes home from school, quite upset. He tells Claire that he had an argument with his best friend, Tom. Mark is a member of the school's book club, and he wanted Tom to join it too. At school, Mark asked Tom to join the book club, but Tom said he didn't want to because he doesn't like reading books and he would rather join the soccer club. So now, Mark is upset that Tom doesn't like what he likes. Claire thinks Mark should understand that they can like different things and still be best friends. So Claire wants to tell Mark that he should be Tom's friend without trying to change him. In this situation, what would Claire most likely say to Mark? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good morning, listeners. Insects are a vital part of the natural environment, but they sure can be annoying. They get into our homes and invade our outdoor parties. So, of course, we have expressions that include insects. Today, we'll learn about some of these. First, you may have heard the expression, as busy as a bee. Bees are always working, so you can easily understand that this expression means very busy. Second, the expression to have ants in your pants means you cannot sit still. 
If we sit on the ground close to ants, they may get in our pants. In that case, we have to move around a lot to get them out. Third, when you're really angry, you might say you are mad as a hornet. Hornets are bee-like insects that sometimes attack people. So if you imagine some hornets furiously attacking someone, you can understand the meaning of the expression. Finally, butterflies are beautiful insects, but you don't want to have butterflies in your stomach because it means to be nervous about having to do something, like speaking in front of a crowd. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, listeners. Insects are a vital part of the natural environment, but they sure can be annoying. They get into our homes and invade our outdoor parties. So, of course, we have expressions that include insects. Today, we'll learn about some of these. First, you may have heard the expression, as busy as a bee. Bees are always working, so you can easily understand that this expression means very busy. Second, the expression to have ants in your pants means you cannot sit still. If we sit on the ground close to ants, they may get in our pants. In that case, we have to move around a lot to get them out. Third, when you're really angry, you might say you are mad as a hornet. Hornets are bee-like insects that sometimes attack people. So if you imagine some hornets furiously attacking someone, you can understand the meaning of the expression. Finally, butterflies are beautiful insects, but you don't want to have butterflies in your stomach because it means to be nervous about having to do something, like speaking in front of a crowd. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening. 16번 남자가 하는 말을 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 17번 언급된 곤충이 아닌 것은? 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다.